Netflix is declaring war on cyber pirates and is turning to Google for help. Here's how it works. The anti-piracy company Vobile will keep track of sites that post pirated Netflix content. It then passes a list of those sites onto Google. Google then removes the offending links from its search results, making it more difficult to find them. Google says it's been asked to remove over, over 87,000 links over just the last four months. Patrick O'Rourke is a senior editor at Mobile Syrup. So Patrick, when we say that these consumers are going after uh, pirated Netflix content, um, do we know what they're going after? Are they going after the whole Netflix catalog or very specific things? So the copyright trolls are more targeting Netflix's original content. The platform recently expanded with, with the global expansion. They've been doing way more original stuff, shows like House of Cards, Daredevil. Um, the, the new season of Daredevil just came out. So that's what they're targeting because Netflix is more heavily invested in original content and they want to stop people from being able to get it without subscribing to their service. Right, because uh, I mean in the past Netflix didn't seem that concerned. In fact they used to say well we're cutting down on piracy because we're offering this you know uh, uh, relatively inexpensive service where people can get all kinds of stuff and actually pay for it. Yeah, a, a few years ago Netflix's opinion of piracy was a little bit different so they've sort of done a, a bit of a 360 on that, they initially didn't really seem to mind because it was almost like a gateway to getting more subscribers. So say you download something on uh, uh, like a torrent or something like that of House of Cards, you watch that one episode, you really like the show and you want a more convenient way of getting access to that show you're more likely to subscribe to Netflix rather than to continue to pirate it. Right, because I mean you really do have to search around if you're trying to find uh, some uh, unauthorized version of a show. It's, it's not that easy and I suppose with these new measures coming in it's going to be next to impossible would you say? Yeah, I mean, the people, a lot of people who pirate things, they know where to go, they know the sites to, to visit, they, they know how to find them. But what these efforts, uh, in terms of removing these links from Google, what that does is it makes it a little bit more difficult to stop pirated content. But when one link disappears, more just show up. So it's kind of a game of, of cat and mouse that uh, it just kind of deters piracy, but doesn't make it go away, go away altogether. So you're not very hopeful that this is actually going to end the practice of people pirating uh, Orange is New Black or House of Cards or any of these not Netflix original series? Uh, no, definitely not. It, it'll probably deter it. Like you said, it makes it more difficult, but it definitely isn't going to disappear altogether, that's for sure. Now, what about this other strategy we're hearing about? Uh, uh, AMC, apparently, its show, uh, The Walking Dead, is one of the most pirated programs out there, and apparently it's going to have some sort of a watermark, or it's going to try and digitally label these uh, different versions of it and be able to track people that way. Have you heard anything about that? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, so digital watermarks, are, they're a little more secretive and they're more so AMC can track where that file came from. So if, if it was leaked by an employee or uh, someone associated with the company, they can sort of trace that back to see where the original source was. Um, I don't think it does a ton to deter piracy from, from the average person though, that's for sure. Now the fact that Google is uh, participating in this Netflix plan to try and, and slow it down, is, do you think that's going to lead to more traffic maybe for Yahoo or other types of search engines? Um, no, I, I, I don't think so. I think primarily the people that are pirating things, um, they know the sites to go to, they know this, the, the illegal streaming services where this content is located. So there may be a very small demographic of people that um, Google like House of Cards season four episode one and they're, they're trying to find that streaming source. But I think that audience is, is very small so I don't think it'll really make that big of a difference. And then in terms of sort of the customer's reaction to this sort of thing, um, the fact that you know Netflix has been sort of relatively easy going about this sort of thing in the past, do you think it faces any sort of a negative backlash by becoming a little more uh, stern with its, its customers? I mean to a certain extent, but I, I also think Netflix is, is just protecting its own content, right? So they're, they're investing more heavily in producing original series. And before when maybe they only had a couple shows and Netflix was in only just a couple of countries, Canada and the US for example, with this global expansion um, and the producing of content in a variety of different regions, it's more important for the company to protect, to protect that, the, the digital rights of the contents that it's producing and to funnel um, subscribers to its own service rather than opting for these, these 
these pirated pl platforms. I guess that's the ultimate thing they would like, is they'd like yeah. to see these people say, okay, I'll give up trying to find it all over the place, I'll just pay Netflix. Exactly, and, th and that's sort of how you combat piracy, uh, the way I see things, is creating a convenient service that's affordable and easy to access on a variety of different platforms. Um, all of these other methods, they're, they're really just stop gaps to, to, to deter it a little bit, but it never completely makes it disappear. The only way to make that happen is to offer a service that's convenient and easy to use. All right. Well, thanks so much for being with us. No problem. Thank you.